Hello friends, welcome back to our study of mind rubrics and today we are going to study the rubric bellowing. Yes, so bellowing means a cry, a loud cry of an animal, you know, like this deer is, ooh, it's <coughs> screaming. Huh? So that's what bellowing basically means, to emit a deep, loud roar typically in pain or anger right now it it will come out in the form of a cry in the form of a shout a scream a yell right or even in the form of abusive language or violent behavior hitting striking violence abusing because you are angry on someone, because someone is not mm, um, understanding your pain. So, because of that pain or your anger or your um, fear or anticipation, you, you, you start to yell, scream, shout and, you know, create a create a scene out of things you are not calm about things you become you you become in, in not in, you become very very immature not immature in you become very irrational in your behavior huh? you start to yell and shout and scream and abuse and hit and strike and all this Right. So, what are the remedies in this rubric? It's a very small rubric. Huh? It has only three remedies in it. The first remedy is belladonna. Now, belladonna we have learnt a lot of times that it has to do with fear and panic and it sees ghosts and it's very scared of ghosts and it has delirium and delusions. All that we know. But what is important is in belladonna, See, belladonna, hyoscyamus, stramonium, all these three remedies belong to the same family that is solanaceae. And all these three remedies have this um, excitement of brain. So they have a lot of deliriums, delusions, they see things, they perceive things, right? And um, there is also commonality of some symptoms all three will have these delusions uh, and in those delusions they will have fear and panic and they want to run run uh, and scream and you know get scared and terrified with ghosts and murder and violence and cutting and mutilation and murder and violence all this very very gruesome violence they see or they they perceive or they imagine and they get very very scared by that all three remedies will have that and in some ways all three remedies also have a uh, mania and um, um, sexuality and nakedness and violence and um, fear now we generally learn that sexuality is especially seen in hyoscyamus and it's naked uh, or uh, stramonium is main remedy for fear and panic or belladonna is mainly for violence etc now from from my experience of seeing patients i think this nakedness this violence this fear is there in, in some amount in all of them but the main difference is in belladonna the main thing is um, in one one aspect when they are good they are very very happy and lively and very very energetic and laughing and um, creating jokes and very jovial and excitable and very very um, you know even when there is uh, um, something serious they will not be there in the situation they will be in their own excitable delusional world and they will still continue to laugh and you don't understand what's happening why is he laughing why is he cracking jokes and dancing and um, running about all this 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 dancing jovial excitement this is this is one polarity of belladonna and then when they get scared 
then they enter into the other polarity when they see all these visions of violence etc then they become then they become very very violent because they see so much of violence because they perceive so much of violence then they become violent they start to hit they start to strike they start to harm they want to hit so this 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 behavior is why belladonna is given in this rubric that they become so violent and they become so uh, immoderate in their behavior whether in the form of extreme laughing and dancing and singing and screaming and all that or same same screaming yelling with violence and hitting and striking that is belladonna coming back to the differentiation of all these three remedies um, in in hyoscyamus obviously nakedness is very very prominent but the main symptom for me when i decide to give hyoscyamus is suspicion suspiciousness or fear betrayal of these are very very important symptoms for us to prescribe uh, hyoscyamus and along uh, and stramonium is mainly fear and panic and this along with suppression you know suppression of normal discharges that the stool of the patient is stopped urine of the patient is stopped sweating of the patient is stopped all excretions all all um, desires like um, uh, hunger and all this go down and what it's to do with parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system so um, all these secretions and excretions stop you know there is dryness of throat there is dryness of mouth there is dryness of skin all secretions or oh, there is dryness of the nose all mucus dries up hmm? all excretions stop all urine stops stool stops perspiration stops because the whole focus is to save life it's life and death situation it's panic situation so parasympathetic nervous system takes over and it has to do with fight and flight and run about and scream and yell and all that along with um, you know palpitations and breathing and all that okay and in bellard um, this is stramonium and in belladonna the physical symptom will always be focused on the head and the eyes dilated pupils throbbing headache all that okay so the next remedy is cantharis cantharis is in the last 3 4 rub rubrics it is it is coming up frequently and we have studied cantharis so cantharis uh, i will just repeat in short so cantharis has to do with um, excessive frenzy and rage and uncontrollable anger and in that anger i want to hit and strike and scream and abuse and main thing is they they behave so indecent and so shamelessly you know you feel are you even even educated you know like in hindi uh, generally we call chhopad uh, patti ka hai kya ha means you do you belong to some slum area why are you behaving like this shamelessly abusing and screaming in a very cultured place and shamelessly just getting your clothes off becoming naked and talking 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 about sexuality in a very shameless manner that is that is the insect energy where they feel everything is to do with the basic needs of life that is um, food love sex um food sex and house and money and all that is only important rest all what is there in life nothing when you see this kind of mindset no when it's only this basic things are important in life they don't care of anything else in life only basic needs i want food i want sex i want clothes i want good house i want royal house and for to get all this i will i will do whatever it takes i will tell lies i will cheat i will do all kind of wrong things that is the insect energy hmm? and and when they don't get all this when they see that things are not in place they are not getting what they want then they become very angry and furious and they start to scream and yell and abuse and behave in a very very shameless manner that is cantharis i think you should read kent and tyler to understand cantharis even more um next is uh, cuprum metallicum 
Now, cuprum metallicum, um, interestingly, also has this laughter, spasmodic laughter, uh, incontrollable laughter, like that in the provings. And along with this, one very important symptom of cuprum that comes um, close to this rubric is um, crying like croaking frogs. You know how frogs croak, no? This lower jaw and lower jaw area just goes up and down <laughs> this kind of crying is characteristic of cuprum metallicum right and then along with that you will find the um, find the issues of performance and courage huh? this is very important in cuprum it courage they want courage they feel um, if to perform you need courage to do something uh, dangerous to do something uh, that is uh, risky and that is that can harm you that can injure you uh, you need courage so you you want of that courage is what is cuprum metallicum mm. along with the other things of attack defense metal energy etc okay someday we we'll do cuprum metallicum in more details but uh, that's the main symptom of cup uh, cuprum and um, and that is the reason why it is given in this rubric the croaking like a frog crying with croaking like a frog huh? the cross references for this rubric are barking i think barking we have already done this rubric in quite as much details and growling like a dog is also very similar to mm. this rubric so maybe growling like a dog also we'll do some other time because there are many other remedies and i want to study before i talk more about that rubric so that is it friends so a small rubric and a small video for today and i hope you learned something from this um, rubric too uh, see you all too in our next rubric see you all bye bye look forward for your feedbacks please please do give your feedbacks